Yeah, fastest growing jobs, according to employers around the world. You guys know that AI is going to be taking over. If you want to check out this article in, on the Business Insider, they're talking about AI, machine learning. But there are other jobs that you should be looking at. Digital transformation specialists. Employment growth from 2023 to 2027, 29%. Okay? These are the jobs that are going to make you the money. These are the careers that you should be looking at. A digital transformation specialist. How do you help business businesses adapt technology? Change their old way of doing things to the new way of doing things. Digital transformation specialist. It's a consulting type of a role, guys, where you know technology and you know how to help people make the change to use different tools and technologies in order for them to improve. Agriculture equipment operators, 2023 to 2027, 30%. Big data specialists, 2023, 2027, 30%. You're going to college, you're majoring in some sort of MIS, analytics, computer science, robotics engineer, huge growth in this area. Data analyst and data science, huge growth in this area. Big growth, big, big growth. Fintech engineers, these are all positions, guys, where they're related to science, technology, engineering, or math. Fintech engineers, information security analysts, information security analysts, cybersecurity analysts, that's what it is. 31% growth. Go ahead and jump on that level of careers. Within a month, you can be breaking into this industry. Josh Madakar is the instructor. Go and check him out. Business intelligence analysts, all this is doing with data, sustainability specialists, AI and machine learning specialists, guys. All this is around science, technology, engineering, and math. I talk about tech all the time. I talk about tech all the time, guys. This is a path that I'm in. I've been in the tech space for 18 years. AI machine learning specialist, 39% employment growth. Get into these spaces, you'll find yourself getting paid a ridiculous amount of money throughout your career. You got to focus. You got to listen to people who are in these spaces or going in these spaces or know a little bit about these spaces. So when Uncle Antoine, or however you see me, Brother Antoine, or the jerk, or whoever you, whatever you think of me, says... Digital transformation specialist, go and Google it, right? A big data specialist. Oh, Antoine was talking about it. Go and Google that. Oh, information security special uh, analyst. Oh, Antoine said that in the Black Heights show. Go and Google that. What is that? Or go and check out the level careers that we dropped. The link in the chat to find out more about it. That's how you get exposure to things. Somebody says it. That's credible. You listen, you do your own research, you make a decision. Or you book a coaching session if you want to know more. FinTech engineers, research it. Information security analysts, we already talked about it. Business intelligence analysts, we already talked about it. Sustainability specialists, we already talked about it. AI machine learning specialists, we already talked about it. And that's it, guys. Those are the roles. Fastest growing. Last one I want to talk about, talk about, guys, is a TikTok that showed how ChatGPT can help prepare for job interviews. Guys, you know I'm a big fan of ChatGPT. I'm a big fan of ChatGPT. Yeah, big fan of chat GPT. Use it every single day. <laughs> I use it every single day. But I want for you guys to, if you aren't using it now, you, you need to be using it. Okay, especially if you're in a job hunt. And the TikToker basically is leveraging it to get interview questions. And I'll even walk through a demonstration of this. Okay, let's do this real quick. Maybe I can blow it up. So ultimately, what we're talking about here is this. A TikToker say that you can leverage chat GPT to prepare yourself for an interview. So how do they go about doing it? Well, this is what I took away from the article. They go to, you know what? Chat GPT, open it up, go and find a job. Let's go to LinkedIn. Let's do a job search, guys. Let's look up, uh, we were just talking about what kind of jobs right now. Um, let's look up that of a business intelligence analyst. Uh, you know, let's do something even better. Let's do an information security analyst, right? Let's go to LinkedIn, type in the job title, do a little search on that, search for jobs. All right, cybersecurity analyst, right? You guys see this, Booz Allen comes up. Man, cybersecurity analyst at Booz Allen. Nice. Let's look at, uh, let's just find something outside of Booz Allen. Let's, uh, let's see if there's a, any cybersecurity companies that are, are Rose Siemens. All right, there we go. Senior cybersecurity analyst. They got a, that to be a full-time mid to senior level position, right? Making anywhere from 95 to $172,000 a year. Here's the responsibilities. Here's the required skills, okay? Here's the preferred skills. A well-qualified candidate has these skills. Here's a salary range and so forth, right? Well, the TikToker says you can use ChatGPT to help you prepare for an interview. How do they do that? 
paste the job description into the chat box and ask it to generate interview questions. So let's go to this job description. Where your responsibilities are, right? Let's paste this, okay? Let's drop that in chat GPT and let's have chat GPT generate some interview questions for us, all right? That's what they say do, right? Let's find out if it's true. Work smarter, not harder, right? Work smarter, not harder. Let me go back to what it says. All right, so let's, I'll take this even snippet. Generate interview questions for each point. And analyze description for keywords. So I'll take this, drop this in the chat GBT real quick. Boom, at the beginning of it. I'll copy, paste that. Put my little colon in here. Generate interview questions for each point and analyze the description for the top keywords for this job title. Let me put this, this or for this cybersecurity job description. Boom, enter. Interview questions, wow. Look at that, it came up with 10 interview questions. Can you describe your experience in investigating, in investigating and following through on IT security incidents in a geographical distributed environment? How do you ensure that you can, uh, or how do you ensure that you consider all relevant technical and non-technical stakeholders during the different phases of an incident? What methodologies or approaches do you use to collect and analyze the technical incident and information and log data? How do you investigate potential or suspected incidents reported by a user or other sources? Can you provide examples of types of technical incident reports you have generated in the past? Look at that. Helping you prepare for an interview. Keywords that came to that job description, the top 10. Investigate, IT security incidents, geographical distributed environment, technical and non-technical stakeholders, incident tickets, seam, alerts and events, escalate incidents, remediation, run books, detection the rules. You use those keywords to improve your resume as well. Get it past these ATS systems. But guys, use ChatGPT to help you out. It's cheat code. I've been telling you guys about that for a long time. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. I use it every day. It creates all sorts of efficiencies. But I, uh, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all the support showing up on a Saturday morning, drinking coffee with me, listening to me talking all kinds of all sorts of stuff today. I was on one, man. But you know what? It's the holiday weekend. And I want for each and every one of you guys to think about the next six months, to think about your tomorrow, to think about your family, to think about how you could be the one that change your entire generation of people that's behind you. I want each and one of you guys to think about, you know, how you can build stronger relationships with your friends and your family this weekend, you know, focusing on the things that really does matter, which is friends and family, right? Focus on the things that really does matter, not the crap that, you know, we find ourselves consuming. I know it's entertainment. We have to dive into that sometimes in order for us to balance things out. You can't just be serious all the time, right? But just make sure that, if it's entertainment, you know, you know the difference. Um, it, you know, spend some time with your family this weekend. That's that's what's most important, man. And, and, and spend some time thinking about what you need to accomplish to be a better you. That's what I want you guys to think about. And uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing. But I'm going to spend time with my family as well. It's a holiday weekend, a long weekend. And uh, I'm going to hopefully take the boat out. That's what I want to do this weekend. I want to take the boat out. And guys, I'll see you guys next Saturday. And uh, until next time. Peace.